we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 19 Speed, Time and Distance Exercise 19A Question number uh, 12, right? This is a car started from town P and traveled towards town Q at 70 km per hour at the same time a van started from town Q and traveled to town P at 60 km per hour after two whole one by uh, three by four hours they were 65 km apart still traveling towards each other what is the distance between two towns right so basically it's saying that uh, there are two towns one is town P the other is town Q okay so uh, they start okay basically a car the car starts from town P to town Q okay this is the entire route so it starts from town P to town Q and till here it travels and, a, and another way at the other time okay a van starts from town Q and let's say it travels till here this is the car this is the van now you see this is this much time they have taken to travel two whole three by four hours and same is taken by the van two whole three by four hours and uh, they add after two whole three by four hours they have traveled this much okay we do not know the distance for now but they have traveled somewhat and still what we know is that they are 65 kilometers apart from each other they have to go 65 kilometers more so that they pass each other right they are still traveling okay but we have to find the distance between the two towns p and q so it's quite sim uh, simple first we will calculate the distance car has traveled then we'll calculate the distance of the van and then we'll add 65 in that right so distance of car plus 65 plus distance of van with this thing we'll find the total distance between both the towns right p and q so first we'll find distance of car so we know what distance equals to speed into time so the time is already given here that is equal to um, two whole three by four hours and that is convert this to an improper fraction 11 by four hours all right um, and the speed right speed is also given i forgot to mention that right so the car was at 70 kilometers per hour the van was at 60 kilometers per hour right so use that speed as well here the speed equals to 70 kilometers per hour so s into t right speed into time this will give us the distance so let's find the distance here that will be 70 into 11 upon 4 all right so um, will this cancel it uh, let's see 1 and 3 30 uh, let's see will it cancel no fine so let's leave it like to so cancel this cancel this two times this will go 35 times so now it will not cancel all right so this becomes uh, the distance becomes 11 5 55 and 5 11 33 and 5 385 by 2 kilometers right so this is the distance the van has traveled okay next what do have we got here uh, or let's consider let's convert this into a mixed fraction that will be better so 1 1 there so 9 and 2 192 whole 1 by 2 kilometers right this is the actual distance it has traveled 192 complete kilometer and uh, another half of kilometer that is 192 whole 1 by 2 kilometers now we'll find the distance of the van fine so distance of van becomes what we know the time again the time will be the same so i won't just convert write it all once again simply 11 by 4 hours and the speed also is given to us that is 60 kilometers per hour all right so calculate it s into t speed into time 11 by 4 into 60 okay this will cut so cut it um what does this give us uh 1 and 5 15 times basically fine so this gives us what Cal uh, calculate the actual distance 11 into 5 55 and 5 so 165 um what kilometers right so it goes 165 kilometers this is the distance of the van the the scar has traveled 192 whole and 1 by 2 kilometers so now we calculate the total distance all right so the total distance will become what add all of them distance of car plus 65 kilometers plus distance of the van fine so 192 whole one uh, 192 whole okay i'll keep the uh, fraction after that plus 65 plus van that is one 65 plus 1 by 2 right 
um, it won't be visible here but basically add all the three distances that we have got so 192.65 and 165 what does this give us 5 10 12 1 um, 10 10 and 12 22 again and 224 422 right so 422 whole 1 by 2 kilometers becomes the total distance that is the distance from uh, town P to the town uh, to this town Q all right and next part is after how many hours of travel would they cross each other right so uh, so far they are 65 kilometers apart from each other speed of the car is 70 uh, kilometer per hour and the speed of the van is what uh, this uh, 60 kilometers per hour now we'll be finding out the time they will take to cross each other right suppose van is starting from here car is starting from here so when will they cross each other there will be one point when they will cross each other if two vehicles are going from here and here right so they will cross each other like this at one point and we have to find the time they will take to go from here till here when they cross each other so it's quite simple first of all uh, let them meet after most important is that assume it x uh, x hours right so they'll meet after x hours fine this y uh, x because we do not know the time okay so we'll assume this thing as x now we know that the total distance of the highway is what 422.5 kilometers this we have calculated in the previous part that is the total distance of the entire uh, town town p and town q distance between them right that is 422.5 kilometers so if let's say we calculate the distance traveled by the van to reach the common uh, to reach that point when they cross each other and the distance traveled by the car uh, to reach the point they, when they cross each other then we can find out what is their uh, time suppose from here and here they start so the car travels from here to here the van travels from here to here so we have to find the distance both of them travel to reach the point when they cross each other fine uh, like let's say from here till here this is the car this is the van they'll move some bit they'll move some bit again again so they'll meet at this point this distance will find this distance will find we'll add both the distance and we know the total distance is 422.5 kilometers right so now we calculate the total distance or uh, the distance traveled by the van and the car fine so first let's do the car only so speed of car is equal to 60 kilometers per hour right? uh, sorry not 60 it is 70 kilometers right so the car is going at 70 kilometers per hour and distance equals to speed into time fine so speed we know time do we know the time no we do not know the time but we have assumed the time as x so for now we will put the value as x only so speed will be 70 kilometers into uh, the time time is x hours so this becomes 70 into x that is 70 x kilometers you can say so the distance the car is traveling is 70 x kilometers or simply you can say 70 x right now the distance the van travels so again speed of the van speed of van equals to what 60 kilometers per hour right so speed of van is 60 kilometers per hour uh, again distance equals to speed into time fine so that will be speed is again 60 kilometers per hour into time time we don't uh, we don't know that will be x 60 into x so it becomes 60 x kilometers right now now you see this that they travel from this point and they this travels from this point they meet at this point this much distance by the car is what 70 x this much distance by the van is what 60 x now we add both of these distance we get the total distance of the town that is what 422.5 kilometers this we have already um, calculated fine so now we form the equation and this is the most important part so basically you add the distance of the car 70x this much part then you add the distance of the van 60x this much part that will give you the total distance of the highway that is for uh, sorry not the highway the total distance between town p and town q that is 422.5 kilometers how do we know this we calculated it in the previous part from here till here right from here till here so solve the equation you get 130x equals to 422.5 okay that will be x equals to 422.5 upon 130 so x equals to 4225 i remove the decimal here 
and so one zero will increase here. Now solve this and this. So this will be eight twenty to four and five. This will be two sixty. Again cancel it by five. So one thirty four six and nine forty nine one sixty nine and this becomes five two fifty two. Uh, okay, um, now will it cancel anymore? Um, let's see. So 52 and 69. Uh, yes, it will cancel, right? Let's cancel this by what? 13. Fine. So this will go four times. This will go one. 339 goes three times. So 13 upon four, that will give us three whole. One by uh, four hours. Fine. Okay, you can solve this thing on your own. And at last, you will get this. Three whole, one by four. 13 upon four, you simplify that. Three whole, one by four. Hours. Fine. Uh, so simply you can say x equals to 3 whole 1 by 4 hours. I'm out of space here. That's why I'm doing this. You can write a proper answer. The total time after which they meet will be this much hours. 3 whole 1 by 4 hours. Fine. So basically we have to find value of x and that was the time x hours. So x we have already calculated and that becomes your time. And friends, this is all for today. If you are new to my YouTube channel, do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one. Till then, take good care of yourselves and bye-bye.